Hey, 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 just making sure you guys are with us. I am so excited for today. Let me just see that Facebook is doing its thing. It is. Hey, everybody, it is Carla Silver here. And I have been looking forward to, I haven't been live on my personal page in age and a half, it feels like. Uh, I went live last week when I was in Cabo and, um, but just a tour of my hotel room. I was there with my guest today. I'm really, really, really excited to uh, introduce you to her. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have a conversation and we're really gonna be talking frankly about how Gabriel made $200,000 um, from just a few micro videos on TikTok and um, I'm positioning herself in a certain way, which we'll talk about uh, today. And I'm, I'm just thrilled to have you here. So I've met, I met you, what, is it almost a year and a half ago, two years, yeah. a year and a half at least this time now? And then even before then, I think just like- I can't hear you. Oh, you know why I can't hear you? Because I have this volume off. Hold <laughs> on. We got to figure out how to do this. Hold on. Boom, close that. It's my bad. Okay, there you are. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. It was my I, like, I think we did too. meet in person a year and a half ago, but we, we met online before then at some point. Well, sure. I gotta say, I and you don't know this, but I was, I have been, when I first met you, I'm like, oh my gosh, she is amazing. <laughs> she has this, Thank she's, you. I mean, you guys can tell, right? Gabriel is totally glam. I'm not usually. Um, she is beautiful. She is a high level earner in the coaching industry. She is, um, she's just badass. And you know what? She does this from this super mellow, you know, I'm kind of like this, right? I'm, I'm like, oh, let's do this. And she's super mellow, anti-hustle, a way of really attracting amazing people to her and, me, and, and looking amazing as well. So I really wanted to bring you on today, um, G, because I, I could use some glam. <laughs> <laughs> we all could use some glam I could use some glam like I, I have when I came back from Cabo I was like looking crazy because I was like I need to rest I need to, to sleep sleep it off sleep off the vacation and kept, get back into work mode and so I got glam today and I feel so good and ready well we weren't really on vacation we were there <laughs> to work for a we working we were on a workcation let's put it well, that I don't know how much work did we get done in that private plane? <laughs> no, that private plane was everything. We were everything. feeling very Kardashian. We were. We were taking all the pictures, all the videos. We looked amazing. It was fun. Fun, fun. It was a lot, of, a lot of fun. But you guys are all here because I, um, I let you guys know in my promotional materials that I learned how to do makeup when I was this years old. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what? I just, it was so funny, Gabriel. I just was at a place where I was like, you know, there must be some uh, way that I can elevate my look yet still feel true to who I am. And I saw you doing it over and over and over again. And um, well, how did this idea first start? I think I know, but how did this idea of combining makeup and money start for you? So before this whole coaching world, I actually used to own a salon. I used to own a hair, a natural hair studio. And I also was a makeup artist. Um, so I would have my natural beauties. I, I did natural hair and locks. And so I would also do the makeup of my natural hair and locked sisters for their weddings. Um, and, you know, for whatever special occasion that they had. So I've been doing makeup for a very long time. After that, I actually worked in the cosmetic industry um, as a manager. So I've been in the cosmetic industry for a while and the beauty industry for a minute. And when I started doing my live videos, I decided to start getting glammed up because I love glam. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. And ever since I've been doing that, and especially people who know that I was a makeup artist back in the day, People have been begging me to do a class on makeup. I'm talking years because I've been a coach for about six years or so. And for years, I would say, oh, not, no, not yet, not yet. Or one, you know, one day soon. And so this year, I kind of started like getting deeper and, you know, really exploring femininity and just doing things that 
was not structured or not what I should be doing as a business coach. And makeup is one of the things that I was like, you know what? It's one of my passions. I love beauty. I love fragrances and smelling good and looking good and feeling good. Let me just see what happens. I'm going to just put the class up there and see what happens. And people were like, oh my gosh, like finally. So that's where that came from. It's, it's I know I was first in line. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes. I'm like, I'm going to this class. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you remember this, but um, Gabriel and I were in a, a 12 week program uh, called Play Big. Mm-hmm. And at the end of every round, uh, it's, uh, th- it doesn't matter what it is. At the end of every round, we have some sort of celebration at the end. And one time I'm like, can, can Gabriel do a makeup class on our last day? And you did it, but I couldn't come. No. And I'm like, holy heck, that was my- that was my chance. I did yeah. do that makeup. Oh my God, I forgot about that. I did do a makeup class in Play Big at the end as a celebration. It was fun. It was like a, I had to do it really quickly. And so that's another piece of why, the reason why I was like, let's do this where I can just like really just get into it and, and not feel like I need to like go through this really quickly and answer as many questions as possible. But I'm so glad that you got to make it to the class though, because- It was so good. Was I gotta fun. tell you, I, um, I got all my stuff. I, uh, I, I got set up in my bathroom. I had my, my computer and my zoom there. And it was really fun because we had, I had a glass of wine or so everybody was, it was later in the day. It wasn't like at yes. 9 a.m., but I had a glass of wine and we just went through, um, how to do things. And I was like, Oh, that's how you do that. That's mm-hmm. how you do that. But even more importantly, um, uh, I've always been kind of poo poo on that side. And that's just, I realized I had a big epiphany during that class. I'm like, I don't have to, um, I don't know, look like, I don't know, somebody else, right? (laughs) I can look like myself, but it really, I was like, I feel good yeah, because I look good. And I know that those of you that followed me for more than a minute, know that if you, uh, my belief, uh, my 100% belief is that if, when you feel good, yeah. you do good and you make more money, you're more attractive to your ideal prospect. Yeah, absolutely. And that's actually why, I, that's another reason why I was like, this is such an important class to have. And even though it was a fun project, a little fun side project, I realized that it ties in so powerfully to who I am, how I show up every single day. It's a huge part of my daily routine. Putting my makeup on isn't just me just getting up and putting my makeup on because I got to put makeup on so I can look presentable online. Makeup is for me and for me only. It's a part of my sacred routine of feeling powerful every day. It's kind of like my armor or my, my, you know, my Wonder Woman lasso of truth or her armor, whatever. It's me getting up and getting ready and feeling, stepping into that energy of, okay, I can take on the day. I can attract whatever I want. The world is my oyster. I can do whatever I need to do to thrive in this space. And so it's a huge part of that. And I feel like all people approach makeup as if it's this chore and I, I wanted specifically in this class for it not to feel like a chore. And the only way we can do that is to make it fit into your routine. It doesn't have to be a huge, like I have on a full beat contour, bronzer. That doesn't have to be you. You can just have a simple look that works for you every day. You do it in like 10, 15 minutes. And then that's your way to get ready in the day. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you that you're actually, we, this is another huge topic we could talk about because you're talking about a persona or an alter ego, which is um, uh, something that so many amazing, talented athletes have done. Uh, Beyonce had Sasha Fierce, yep. right? That the other alter ego, and this is one of the things that we teach in our top producer mastermind is that you can step into an alter ego until you're that person. Uh, Beyonce could ditch her after a while, right? She had her because she had this certain upbringing. I mean, you could probably tell people more, but this certain upbringing and she needed to step into this persona so that she could be and do and have those things on the stage until she didn't need her anymore. Uh, there's a famous... Um, uh, uh, I can't remember who it is, Heisman Trophy winner. And he said, I never played a minute of football in my life. Mm. And we're like, what? 
you you won the Heisman Trophy and you were like one of these amazing, I can't remember, Herschel Walker? Was it Herschel Walker? I don't remember who it was. And he's like, no, I was, um, oh shoot, I'm going to lose the name. Who is the stabber guy in all of the movies? I was Johnny or whatever when I was on the field. He was fierce. He was not even himself. And again, it's not about not being yourself. It's, yes. uh, it's about it's about uh, blooming into the most perfect version of you. And it's a, it's a way to do that that is actually beautiful in both senses of the word. It, yeah, it's an anchor as well. Like I have my clients do this experiment where I have them get dressed up and all glammed up before a sales call and then without and see what happens. And every time they do the experiment, they're amazed as to what happens after. Is because you show up on and ready, right? You're anchored. You feel like you're ready to take it on, take on the call, whatever you're about to do, because you feel prepared for it. It's just a different, it, it puts you in a different energy and it's so powerful. You can create that. You can create anything you want from that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so um, what would you recommend someone do if they want to learn how to do this? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, come to my class obviously we'll but talk about that in a minute but we'll talk about the class in a, in a minute but I think the first thing is figuring out what your anchor is because for everyone it's not necessarily a full beat it may be a red lip for me I love like red lip has become my signature I'm always wearing a red lipstick now um it may be for you some like a nice bold eyeliner look like a blue eyeliner or like a really smoky eye or maybe just like having your lashes done it may not be a full look but for you maybe something that whenever you put it on you feel beautiful and glam and ready right so what, figure out what that thing is for you for some people it may not even be necessarily makeup it may be jewelry it may be something else um, or, or even a color, but for me and for a lot of people, I would say it is some kind of makeup or something that makes them feel like they're, they're ready to take the day on for sure. You know what it's been for me for years? Uh, all of you that are listening, holy crap. I don't know if I should even say this. I have to brush my teeth mm. before I get on a Zoom. I have to, I have to, before I get on a sales call, I have to, I have to do some more of that. I have to brush my hair and put my lipstick on and all that other stuff. But it, it's, it's really brushing yeah. my teeth. It's just there must be ritual. something in that, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a ritual that you created for yourself that triggers your mind to say, we're about to crush it. And that's exactly what makeup and getting ready for me is every single day. It's when I don't have a makeup on, I can feel a difference. And again, I want to make this very clear. I feel beautiful with or without makeup. However, there's an added layer of power that I feel when I get ready and I feel so beautiful and sensual because it's, it's enhancing my natural beauty that makes me feel ready, prepared, powerful, um, and certain in who I am and how I'm showing up. You know, I have... Um... I was a little intimidated by you when I first met you, to be honest. Why? It's not, it, obviously it had nothing. I didn't know you, right? Mm -hmm. I had no idea, but you were so beautiful. But, and I, I'm like, she's so successful and she's so this and so that people make up stories in your head, but that's actually not a bad thing, Yeah. right? All of us are building our brands online. Yeah. All of us are building our brands offline whether we're doing it intentionally or not yes it's happening yeah. uh, so the the best thing about social is that it's it can happen 24 7 we don't have to be there mm -hmm. but the best the even better thing is we can curate that and again i'm i just want to underscore i know gabrielle has said this before it's not about misrepresenting who you are it's not about creating a, a completely different person that you is not in integrity with you but we get to curate how we look and how we how we um, present ourselves online and just being able to feel great about how you look and uh, the what you say is a whole nother topic but Absolutely. how you look and how you are being and presenting yourself you know that you have that asset out there hundred percent of the time. I actually have some videos, like I've been doing videos 
online and on YouTube for years and years and years. And I look back at some of them and I'm like, ooh, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. ooh, do I take them down? Do I leave them up? Do I, like, what do I do? And um, the best part about it is, you know what? I leave them up because it just shows the evolution of everything, right? Then it also shows that I've been around more than a heartbeat, right? 18 years is a long time. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm sure you're doing the same thing. How do you work with your clients? How does that, how does that evolve for you? It's interesting. Actually, also in this whole place of kind of like being almost like in rebellion against doing traditional business. I did this, this other program is called a lab and it's a whole other conversation, but there's this one thing I do in there's a couple of things that we do in there. And one of it isn't just about makeup. It's also about knowing your colors, right? Because here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's about how you show up online. And I, Carla mentioned, like, one of the reasons why I'm here and we're talking about this is because in four months, I converted my small micro videos with a tiny audience on TikTok into over $200,000, right? So how? How? First of all, before I even say a word, people stop in their tracks and watch my video. And it's not just my makeup, it's everything. It's my look, it's my aesthetic, it's my colors that I'm wearing. And I'm very aware and very intentional about that. So when you talk about how I work with my clients, it's all of that. It's all of those things. It's showing up, understanding your color theory, understanding what when you wear what, what is going to be the color that kind of gets a reaction out of people or what's going to be the color that stops people in the tracks and be like well what's going on here i need to hear what she got going on right or what she has to say it's also about you know your aesthetic right what does luxury look like on you right not for you but on you how can you show up as the most luxurious high-end version of you because the work that I do and that's who I am I help my clients to expand into landing high-end private and corporate clients and so if that's my specialty it there's it's more than the strategy right it's all of how you're being how you look how you feel and how you're being and a huge part of that being is understanding what you wear in your content as well as how you show up in your content energetically to attract the right kind of high-end affluent clients and opportunities to you. And so the work that I do with my clients is a lot of energetic stuff, yes, but there's the strategy, the content, and as well as how you show up luxuriously, rich, wealthy, powerful in your content that stops people in the track, in their track and say, I need to know whatever, whatever she has to say, I need to know what it is. And whatever she's selling, I need to know what it is. That's how I help my clients. And the cool thing is you don't have to have a ton of money to do that. Absolutely not. At all. You just have to know what to do Absolutely. and what to wear and how to position yourself mm-hmm. and the articulation supply. You have to be able to articulate it. But 90% of everything is stopping somebody because they are like, oh, what's that girl up to? Yeah. Yeah. So- it's interesting. Um, I, when I was in Cabo, I was sharing my outfits every day, pretty much um, on the trip. And, and you rocked it. OMG, <laughs> this you. girl was badass. <laughs> Thank you. And okay, so you may not be able to tell from this, or you may, because I got a chubby face, but I'm a plus size girl. Okay. So, first of all, the challenge of finding clothing that feels amazing is not easy. And then also, like, doing it within a certain price range. And I was intentional about making sure that each of my outfits on the Cabo trip was under $200 or about just about $200. And people were actually kind of shocked that I got that done because how do you look luxurious without spending a lot of money? And I am so happy that you brought that up because you don't have to spend a lot of money to feel and look luxurious. Even with your makeup, there's a high-end version of makeup and the low-end version of makeup. And you can look luxurious and high-end no matter what price point you're, you're coming in at. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't spend a ton of money on my makeup at all. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you don't have to. Like I rock some, I, I rock uh, drugstore brands as well as Sephora high-end brands. And I found that they work the same for me. It's just about packaging. And I, I like pretty packaging. So I've been leaning toward, towards high-end now, but I totally have lower-end brands. And I've for years only used like drugstore brands on my skin. And it works just as good. So you can absolutely do whatever, clothing, makeup, however you want to show up. 
I just realized that I wasn't looking at the comments, so I'm going to go over there right now. I have a question for you, though, because um, uh, and I want to go look at. Oh, my gosh. I just this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I posted that today because I was like, I got like three shades darker in Cabo. And I'm like, what is my new foundation shade? Because <laughs> it's not the old one I was wearing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get very tan, but I got enough for me to. I'm like, ooh, that's kind of yeah. that's kind of light. So I have a question for you because everybody's wondering, how did you do 200K from just a few, however long the micro videos on TikTok? And now I'll find the comments. Yes. So a couple of things, obviously I mentioned one was my feel and look, like how I feel, but how I look really contributes to how I feel. And one of the biggest, most important parts to me when I'm creating content is like feeling and looking great um, because that energy projects in your content. And that's so my look and my feel is a huge piece. I actually set aside days to film because not every day I feel that energy where I'm like, I'm in that juicy, yummy energy where I'm like, let's create some content and speak to some people. I'm not in that energy every day. So on those days, I try not to film content because you can tell it comes through in your content. Um, the other thing that I do is I'm very clear about my messaging, not just my messaging, but my luxury messaging. I am fully aware that I'm speaking to two different kinds of audiences when I'm creating content. I'm speaking to my low end audience and my high end audience, and I make it I make it um, a priority to speak to both. Most of people, when they create content, they're speaking to a lower end audience because that's what we're taught to do, not our high end audience. And so in my content, I'm very intentional and strategic about that. And then I batch create content. Like I really sit down and I batch as much con content as I possibly can within that good, yummy, attractive energy um, and feeling and looking great. And that those days I'm literally changing outfits. So if you're seeing me a bunch of different, if you're like on my page and you're like, oh my gosh, she's always consistently beautiful. Uh, yeah. Cause I sat down like one day and changed like five times. <laughs> that's what I did. So that's just some of the, the things that I do. Uh, and I did in my content. Um, the other thing is being very mindful of what people are saying. And so for a long time, before I even created content on TikTok, I just enjoyed the platform. I just went on the Same. platform and had Same. fun. That's it. So I understood the culture of the platform, what people were saying, what were the questions I was hearing over and over again within my community that I could answer and then create from that space. And was it that they went through a sales funnel or were you in conversations over on Instagram? How did that work? So both. Um, what I do have a very strong um, application process. So when my when I create content, and interestingly enough, not all my content has a call to action. I'm just showing up. So whether it's in educational content or lifestyle content, I'm just showing up. And my content compels people to say, let me go see what's going on in her bio, right? And so when they go there, the process is airtight. It takes them to a page where it, it takes them through a process to apply to work with me. It weeds out the riffraff, like what I like to tell my clients, let's weed out the riffraff, right? People who are not ready to work with you or people who are just curious. And then they go through the process. And by the time they get on a call with me, they are qualified leads. So that is the process that, that, that my link takes them through. So that's really strong. The other thing is, what I found is that people who have been watching my TikTok videos, they come find me on Instagram because my Instagram page is linked. And so they feel more comfortable having conversations with me in the DMs there. And so what I do is I just, I just create genuine connection. So I'm not trying to sell anything in DMs unless I feel like, you know, I have something for them at the time, but I'm just having conversation. And so right now I have created so many little friendships in the DMs of people who just randomly followed me from TikTok. And I actually just had a conversation with one. I was like, hey, by the way, I have a thing coming up. You should join. And she's like, yeah, totally. Let me, let me figure out how I'm going to work it. She came from TikTok. So that's how I do that. TikTok is a, like a freaking gold mine. I got to tell you, uh, we have um, a member of our top producer mastermind. I think one weekend she got something like 275 leads into her sales funnel. 
Absolutely. And those are people that are raising their hands saying, I'm looking for an opportunity. Yeah. Like, I've helped several that? clients to do that as well. Several of my clients have gone viral, like million, millions of views, et cetera, on TikTok and has amazing leads from there as well. Oh my God. This is all such goodness. I have one question for you and then we've got to yeah. talk about the goodness. Tommy <laughs> Presley. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to know what advice would you give for monetizing TikTok? I think you just gave it. Yeah, I just broke it down. Also, like I'm, we're going to talk about the goodies in a little bit. So you'll get some, even more instruction on how to do that in just a second, Tommy. Well, why don't we talk about that? Why don't we talk about what we've got going on here? Yeah. Figure out how to put the link. Oh, you know what, uh, Nancy, I see you're on the live. I'm going to give you a couple of links. Mm -hmm. in Slack. And if you would put them in the chat, that would be great. So yes. let's talk about, uh, guys, I just want to say, we have a really good surprise for you, an amazing surprise, because I'm like, my people need this. <laughs> and can you put this together for my people? So I'm going to let, while I'm doing the organization on the back end, I'm going to let you talk about the good stuff that we've got for all of you. We actually have two things. So first thing is I actually put together everything that I did to create 200K on TikTok in a video training for you guys, absolutely for free. So that in the chat for you guys, so you can get in there. And I break down in that video training, how I was able to literally create content that attracts the high-end clients to me and I was able to close them into my offers and I'm talking my offers are anywhere from five to like 30k and these are people who came from TikTok okay um and then the other thing I have is I'm doing another round of my makeup and money master class now I haven't done it for a little while <laughs> But I definitely was like, I'll do it for you, Carla. Anything for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm totally down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enroll again. Yes. And so that it's usually uh $4.97, but you guys are gonna be getting it for $2.97 because this is a special request. <laughs> I'm like, Carla, you're gonna whatever you need. By the way, y'all see my kids in the background riding their bikes, ignore them. <laughs> guys, I want to tell you, this was worth, first of all, the freebie that she's giving you guys is freaking gold so make sure that you fill out the opt-in and you get the goodness yes and even more importantly i i will tell you that makeup class transformed so much for, i won't say it transformed my life because that would be kind of um it's, it's a lot <laughs> weird <laughs> That'd be kind of weird but it's it's totally transformed so much for me and yeah. i was i was looking at makeup like a chore yeah, I was looking like, like, oh man, for Pete's yeah. sake, all this stuff. And um, also I would go into, oh, I, I, I'm going to, I have a confession for everybody. Oh, I would wow. avoid going to Ulta and Sephora Ooh. because I, I would walk into that store and there was just so many things to choose from. I would get completely overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what looked good in me. I had no idea about colors. I didn't know how to match myself. I didn't know how to do anything, anything. And I would leave. And as a matter of fact, when I needed to shop for this class, I had some anxiety around that. And it, you gave me a little pep talk and Don sat in the car with me and he goes, what is your problem? Like you <laughs> usually run into the stores and I'm like, yeah, but and he goes, just find somebody. And he said the exact same thing you did. Just find somebody that can help you color match that, and they all know what they're doing. And so now, now, now I'm like, I got to go and I go to, and I try all new stuff out. And that isn't always possible for everybody, but it turned what, um, what I saw as a chore. And of course it was felt like a chore because I didn't know what I was doing. Right. And, and once I learned, once I went to this class where we had so much fun and we talked about money, Drink we wine. talked about how how um how to attract yeah. people that can afford what you have right because how many of us raise your hand or give me something in the chat have heard like i can't afford it right so you want to you want to attract people that are willing and able more importantly to pay you for your products to pay you to get started in your business to pay you for your coaching or whatever it is that you have going on that um and you want to attract those people 
And I know because I hear from all of you guys that every single last one of you is like, how do I find the people? This is one of those amazing ways to find the people that are really needing um, what you have. So let me just check if there's any other comments. Um, and it's yeah, also, it's also I, I really wanted to have like money conversations in a play, in a setting that wasn't so like webinar. Like I just wanted to have a conversation. Like, can we just like have fun, drink some wine and chat about money and how we can make more? That's what I wanted to create. And that's what this class really is. It's where we just talk, we laugh. Like I'm like hyping everyone up with their makeup looks and just like, yeah, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about everyone's look. And you know what's the fun part for me is at the end of the class when everyone is feeling themselves and I'm looking at everyone's face and I'm like, yep, I know y'all are feeling yourself right now. I was. Everyone's, I'm like, I look good. Everyone's all posy and I'm like, yes, I love it. It's so much fun. Um, and so that's what I, I love to curate. And that's what this class really is. And so I really believe that if you, first of all, want a safe space, to like play in makeup because I think a big piece of the intimidation is feeling like overwhelmed with all this stuff or like feeling like you're going to make a mistake and look crazy. This is the time to do it so I can help you. I can correct you and say, hey, go ahead and fix that a little bit or bring that up a little higher. Or don't put the blush right here. Put it a little bit higher up. That's a place for that where it's non-judgmental and everyone else is learning just like you are. And so it's it's so fun. It's so good. And it's I'm telling you, it's not a place where you're going to come in and feel like you're being judged if you make a mistake. Not at all. No, it was really, it was a lot of fun. And I learned a lot about what obviously learned where things belonged on my face, uh, which was, <laughs> which was uh, uh, really important. And you know what? I got to tell you though, because it's just such a transformation for me. I know that I just said that you guys, but it what it has been. And I, I um, really wish that I had done it earlier, but maybe it was just perfect timing yeah. for me. I was ready for it. I was, uh, it's not like I didn't ever wear makeup before. I totally wear makeup, but I've had plenty of times where I look crazy. I look like, a, oh. like a, a little, well, I didn't know what I was doing. And this transformed everything around that. And what, you know what Gabriel and I just want for all of you is to be positioned in a way where you feel amazing. Absolutely. And that the people around you, whether they're around you physically or not, um, feel that energy. Yeah. And this is one amazing way to do it. And you look great on camera afterwards. Like it is just, I just want, I'm on, can I do a live right now? Yeah. Like, but I yeah. had, that's I had exactly a glass of wine in me. That's the, and that's the thing. So I'm doing like, I'm, I'm doing a little sneaky, like psychological thing with you guys too, because number one, you're actually on camera in your most vulnerable state of not, not having makeup on. And so you're getting used to that feeling of being on camera and being vulnerable. And then at the end, you're fully glammed out. And so I can, you feel the difference of what it feels like to be on camera and seen by other people with a full beautiful look on your face and so it's this thing where you realize oh this is what it feels like okay I can do it I can totally do this totally so guys give me a comment in the chat if you're down for the makeup class because I am in I'm going to be the first person that says I am in um Tommy I'm not sure I might be for you. <laughs> Tommy we always try to include you but I don't know if you're going if you want to do the class I mean <laughs> there i'm probably gonna at some point probably do like one for men because men like you can still do some makeup on for men like powdering your face so you could you're not looking greasy on camera is a thing like you can do that right so but yeah tommy this is this is a glam look situation so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> do you have a, um, a certain look that you're going to go for in this particular makeup class yeah, so this eye look, we're gonna kind of, we're gonna go for this eye look, and that's why I decided to wear it. She's more of a neutral look, and so I also share what it would look like on different skin tones, um, and also give variations for different skin tones as well. Um, and as well, this look minus a red lip, you can do nude or red. Um, but this look in general, so like my contour, my blush blending the foundation um the concealer and everything together so that it looks natural um for your skin and under also understanding like skin tones and uh that's a big thing that we mess up when it comes to our makeup is finding our tone which i talked about 
on my page a little earlier today because uh, my my color my skin tone changed. I'm now a cooler tone than I was before I went to Cabo, and so I have to figure out those color changes. Uh, we're going to be talking about all of that and this look, as well as putting on lashes. So if you struggle with that, we'll be talking about it. Unless you're like Carla, who came in with lash extensions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's been almost four years at this point. They're never going away. <laughs> I'm actually considering it. It looks like something that I would enjoy having, but I'm, I'm, I'm still like, not sure just yet. Not sure just yet. We'll yeah, see Yeah, it's been a while. Um, there's a whole story around that. Let me just see if there's any other. Stacia says she's in. Hey. She's been waiting for that. Yes. Uh, Joanne's in. Yes. Um, yeah, Stacia's three shades darker since Cabo. Yeah. Um, Angela looks like she's in. Awesome. All right, guys, congratulations. And Gabriel, thank you so much. Any last parting words or anything that you want to say to everybody that's watching us? Um, I actually just wanted to share this thing that um, my client, Jennifer, she's on here, I believe, um, told me she is a mom and she has, I believe, three kids, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we were having a conversation and she said, you just said this just like randomly and, and, and you, she was like, I don't know, I have the time to put makeup on. And I was like, well, I put makeup on every day and I got two kids. Um, and I was just like, it was just a conversation. And it's a thing that we do for ourselves. And I feel like as, especially as mom, I don't know if you're a mom on here watching. I don't know why I feel like Lots of them. <laughs> um, but I want to say this to you as a mom, especially, I don't know why society has taught, that, taught us that as mothers that we have to kind of like sacrifice ourselves so that we can care for our children. I want you to know that you don't have to do that. You can show up as glamorous as you want to be and as powerful as you want to be and as not glamorous as you want to be. But I want you to know that you get to decide and you get to choose how, how you want to look online. And so this class, if you're in that place where you're like, I just want to do it, but I don't know how to do it quickly. I totally want you to be there. If you're an entrepreneur who is busy and you're like, I want a quick five minute face, this is a place for you. Um, and we'll talk about more about how I've been able to attract clients on my TikTok, but I really want you to have that place where we can explore that together. So I'm looking forward to having you guys there. Totally get the, the training. If you're not coming to the masterclass, get that training on how I was able to convert my tiny following on TikTok to over 200K in four months. That'll be for you as well. And I'll see you. Uh, oh, and follow me. Add me as a friend here on Facebook. Definitely want to be friends with you guys for sure. Right on. Well, I'll get all of this. Uh, make sure everything's in the comments. And by the way, that makeup class is next week. So you're not going to have to wait forever. Four, six, six, seven. So it must be Thursday night-ish, Thursday sometime. So uh, I better put that on my calendar since I'm <laughs> in the class. Um, and you get a, you get a makeup prep list so as soon as you sign up so the earlier the better so you have time to get the makeup on the list or see what you have in your collection already that could work on that list as well right on you know what this has been an amazing conversation i could sit here and talk to you all day Thanks. i love and adore you more than anything um i just am so grateful to have you out here in uh, in front of my tribe and some of our co-tribe and um, we'll see you next week inside of the Makeup and Money Masterclass. See you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, y'all.